up you guys it's Tess welcome back to another video I think this is my first time wearing my uniform on camera but thought it made it look a little more legit so today I wanted to dive into my esthetician bag and show you guys what is in your kit as far as skincare what you can expect to have in your bag when you purchase one and start school and just kind of show you guys some really cool products products that I love and that I've integrated into my daily routine and professional products you can use on clients and expect great results from I really have kind of discovered the difference between drugstore and professional products through using this kit it's actually all Dermalogica and this is in no way sponsored. Dermalogica just has a partnership with the school as do a few other skincare lines. We also use, why am I out of breath? <laughs> um, we also use Image and we use Cell Renewal and Dermalogica. Those are the main brands we use in our school spa. This kit is all Dermalogica. So these are things, a lot of them you could get at Ulta. Some of them you might have to get at a professional beauty store or um, you would just purchase through your school's um, supply store, what is it called? Bookstore? Bookstore. So without further ado, I'm just gonna dive right in. This is the bag I got when I started school. Pretty exciting. You'll also probably, at least this is what I got, get a larger kit that has things like bowls, palettes, brushes, a mirror, um, little goggles, what else? Different type, types of containers for used utensils and clean ones to keep them separate, little things like that that you will put on your trolley in, in the spa. But so these are all pretty much products and yeah, I just wanna dive in and show you guys a few. This is Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. I'm pretty sure this is available at Ulta or actually Target. Target is starting to carry Dermalogica. So mainstream places like that. This is a great basic cleanser for someone who I wouldn't necessarily use it on mature aging skin or dry skin, but for teen skin, for normal skin, for acneic skin, this is like a great standard cleanser. It's just a clear gel and I like it a lot. I'll use it after workouts or at night to take off makeup after I've removed my makeup as kind of a second cleanse. This is primarily a second cleanse and I normally start my facials with a gentle cleanser something like the ultra calming is amazing or you can start your facial with pre-cleanse these are two first cleanse products the pre-cleanse kind of functions as let me make sure this is closed because it is an oil-based product this kind of functions as a makeup remover and it's really nice for dry skin mature skin it's literally spilling everywhere aging skin so this is a beautiful product one that I've discovered through school and that I will definitely use for life it's pretty amazing in terms of removing makeup and the way it emulsifies I find is really different from a lot of oil cleansers on the market or some that I've gotten from Whole Foods per se some of them really just don't have a proper emulsifier and I don't think they dissolve properly and really remove anything. Sometimes you can kind of feel like the oil is just sitting on your skin and yeah, not doing its job. So really love pre-cleanse. That's just a great standard item to have, I think, in your beauty cabinet. Something definitely worth looking into if you are on the drier uh, skin type end. And then this is the Ultra Calming Cleanser. This is amazing for post-treatments such as um, peels or when doing microdermabrasion or any of those stronger chemical exfoliants. I think this is a great product to use in conjunction. It is a pH balanced non-foaming cleanser. This is kind of actually like the Glossier uh, Rose Milky Jelly Cleanser. I have that one and I really like it. Sometimes I'll alternate between that and the Ultra Calming as my first cleanse in the morning. And sometimes I'll use it at night, really just depending on 
what products you're using, how many treatments you've had, maybe, maybe you've been in the sun a lot and you really need something just very gentle, or you've just started using like a retinol product, this is great to use. It's not gonna really irritate and it should just kind of calm the skin and be pretty beneficial in that sense. Let's see, okay, what else? As far as moisturizer, Active Moist is the sole moisturizer that they put in your kit. Dermalogica has a ton of other moisturizers. This is just kind of a good basic one. I find it's really good for people who want to introduce a moisturizer into their routine. This isn't anything too oily or that's gonna clog pores. This is just kind of, it's an oil-free lotion and it contains botanical extracts that provide effective hydration without a greasy afterfeel. So exactly what it says, it's just kind of like baby's first moisturizer, really nice moisturizer for somebody with aging skin. I would use something like, I think it's called the soothing moisturizer or something with a little bit maybe more oil in it. This is just kind of a standard nice moisturizer. And okay, what else? I have the colloidal mask base. This is a great kind of like multi-purpose mask. You can, I love to spot treat on clients, so I'll do like a, the sebum clearing mask, which removes oil and it's really for more like acne skin types. This is great to use in areas that aren't really congested because I think oftentimes you don't need to put a ton of maybe like a charcoal based mask all over your face and risk drying out areas that you don't have uh, congested congestion in so I like to use this to kind of moisturize other areas of the face and it's also really nice to use when you're doing um, like a paraffin mask and you want serums or other really concentrated ingredients to seep in deeper into the skin this is kind of just a great base and a nice moisturizing mask to use after uh, peels or any chemical exfoliations Another product I have it has a little residue on the top. This is the post extraction solution. This is amazing. I found when I do extractions at home, which I don't recommend unless you really know what you're doing. You are using sterile tools or what I like to do is wrap my fingers in a tissue and maybe fresh out of the shower. If you have a a blemish that's really ready and you can see a whitehead and you just know it's not going to need a lot of pressure. I think if you're putting pressure on it more than two times and nothing's happening, it's not ready. It might be under the skin and you're just going to risk damaging the follicular walls of your skin and possibly causing scarring or just exacerbating the blemish even more. So anyway, <laughs> My point with that was the post extraction solution is great when you're doing those extractions at home or in the treatment room to instead of like an alcohol that's really drying this does the job of killing any bacteria post extraction and just making sure uh, you're diminishing the risk of scarring or having any further inflammation so I love this and of course a sunscreen this is the solar defense booster i believe this is actually a blend of chemical and physical sunblock i think the gold standard in skincare really is a physical sunscreen and something that has like zinc oxide or titanium dioxide um, is really going to be best that being said, I use chemical sunscreens all the time. Some of my favorites are chemical sunscreen. I love the Glossier sunscreen just because it's kind of like a clear gel and it may contain chemicals, but I don't find that it irritates my skin. So really just do what's best for you. I love this. It's the solar defense booster. I mention this in my favorites videos all the time. It is great for dry skin and I find it really moisturizes nicely without leaving kind of like an excess oil on my skin. It's SPF 50. We were just talking about this in class, how sunscreens with anything higher than like a 30 or a 50 are usually just filled with fillers and synthetic ingredients and chemicals just to kind of, you know, market the product as something really effective. But after 
say SPF 30 to 50, I think is where products are kind of just filled with these additives and not necessarily giving you any more benefit with the higher SPF. So I recommend something in that range. And I really, really like this sunscreen. If you're not wearing sunscreen, you guys, that is like the most important thing you can do for your skin. Trust me, I like grew up going to the beach, went to school in Orange County, hate hate to admit this, but I definitely went in tanning beds when I was in my sorority days and I just didn't know any better. It's so not worth it in the long run. Anyway, wear your sunscreen every day and I'll be so proud of you. Okay, the next product I have is the scaling fluid. You would actually use this before the post extraction and this kind of just works to soften the sebum. Uh, kind of open up the follicles and make extractions easier. So yeah, it uses something, a process called disincrustation, which really just means softening the skin and preparing it for extractions. So yeah, this makes sure the follicular walls aren't as impacted when you put any pressure on them and just kind of opens them up and prepares them for the process, the ingredients in this are a lot of natural um, products actually. It has Nostertium, a fish and all flower leaf extract. Let's see. A lot of sage and citrus and lemon, fruit extract, Hedera helix, which is ivy leaf stem extract. I don't know, I won't bore you guys. I was just curious kind of what's in this. But yeah, this is great in the treatment room for preparing clients for extraction and I definitely recommend using steam to open up the follicular walls as well and soften the sebum which is just kind of the oil beneath your skin um, let's see massage cream I recommend using this on normal to dry skin types Dermalogica also has an oil free moisturizer for clients that are acneic or just prone to breakouts you don't want to pack this on because it does have oil in it it's kind of intended more so just for the body and doing massage in your facials uh it is okay to get on your face if you are dry or have mature skin a lot of the clients we see in our salon are older older ladies is kind of our predominant client but yeah this is really great as just like a basic massage cream and this is a calming botanical mixer this is really nice to just add into your bowls put some on your steam towels for a relaxing effect it's just a blend of essential oils to help calm and soothe aggravated environmentally sensitized skin I love to also rub this on my hands and kind of just put it in front of my client's face, ask them to breathe in and really get them to relax. It's amazing what essential oils can do. If you guys don't have an essential oil diffuser, I highly recommend. I have one in my room, we have one in the spa, and I think it really does an amazing job of winding you down. What did I just put on the table? Oh, daily microfoliant, you guys. This is like top five holy grail products of life. I have kind of graduated to the super foliant, which is the next step up from this. I tell everybody, family, friends, to buy this product because I think of a lot of the skincare products you are investing in. I think exfoliants are some of the most kind of like uh, risky products out there. A lot of people aren't informed about the importance of like a natural, very fine, even particle. This has rice bran in it, so it's really natural and exfoliates that way. One product I would steer away from is the St. Ives scrub that was like so popular in the 90s and early 2000s. I feel like everybody had that in their bathroom, but yeah, I just want to spread the word. It's not a good product. It can actually cause micro tears in the skin. So when you're looking for an exfoliant, I recommend something that is professional, whether it's a chemical or a mechanical exfoliant. There's tons of options at Sephora and Ulta. I also love the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. It's really nice. That's a chemical exfoliant and you can kind of feel it working on the skin. And 
this is just super gentle. You can even use it every day, so Dermalogica says. I think just using it a couple times a week is perfectly fine. I don't think you want your skin to get used to too, too much exfoliant because then your cell turnover kind of adapts and it doesn't uh, turn over as easily on its own. But I think introducing a little bit of exfoliate exfoliant just to aid in the process is really going to be beneficial. You're going to see glowing, fresh skin. You're going to see improved circulation in your face. So highly recommend adding an exfoliant into your routine. And we put this on clients before extractions and oftentimes with the steam, we'll just let it sit on their skin for five to eight minutes. And then we'll often go in with a rotary brush. If you have a Clarisonic, you can use that to just go over the product and afterwards you're gonna see such a difference in your skin. It's amazing. So definitely recommend Daily Micro. Oh, and it actually comes out in a powder. I won't open it because it'll go everywhere, but you just pour a little bit into a bowl or into your hand and add a little bit of water. If you're in a salon setting, I would mix it with a brush and wait till it's kind of bubbly and foamy or at home just kind of rub it in your palm and put it on your face. You can do it in the shower and just let it sit on your skin for a little bit. You're gonna love the results. I actually put the daily superfoliant on my skin and I'll go in like a sauna at my gym and just let it sit there for a couple minutes and the results are like to die for. I love it. Let's see, we're getting down to it. There's a bunch of sneaky pockets in here so I'm Get into the archives. This is a toner. It's called the Multi Active Toner. You can use this on all skin types just to kind of bring the pH back to normal after you cleanse the skin. Dermalogica has a bunch of different types of toners. They have one that's more marketed towards anti aging. And yeah, they have a few other different ones. This is just kind of like the standard one for normal skin types. And Next, we have the Multivitamin Power Exfoliant. This is a lipid-based product, and this is going to give you like maximum exfoliation, chemical exfoliation. You, they come in these little vials, and I honestly haven't used this on a client yet. I haven't had someone who'd really be a candidate yet, uh, because it needs, a client kind of needs to be someone you've seen a couple times, and you understand their skin, you've worked on their skin before, and you know this isn't gonna like push them over the over the top. I wouldn't use this in a first session with a client. You can add something called EA35 to this, and you're gonna wanna make sure to double neutralize after using this, which basically means like cleansing the skin with certain products to bring the pH back to a normal level, otherwise it will be off and it, it'll dry out the skin. Let's see. The last thing in here is the Excel, Exfoliant Accelerator 35. This is just primarily lactic acid, which is a milk derived exfoliant. I will add this in with my daily micro and this kind of brings up the exfoliation factor of this product. It's kind of maybe like on the second or third time your client has come in, you've already used the daily micro and you've seen they haven't had any irritation or they haven't been sensitized, you can use this to kind of kick it up a notch and get a stronger exfoliation. But yeah, that's really it. The only other thing I have in here are some sponges, which you guys have definitely seen before. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like I've been talking a mile a minute. You guys know I love this stuff, skincare, product knowledge, knowing what works on your skin, what's gonna give people results. And these are products, again, that go beyond what you're gonna achieve from a drugstore product. I think it's great to invest in professional products because, for one, they are concentrated ingredients. You can use less, it'll last you longer, and it'll just be more effective in the long run, and you're really spending less money on your skin in the long run if you think of the kind of maintenance you would need to do to scare, care for skin that hasn't been cared for properly, hasn't received any kind of care or facial treatments. So I think I highly recommend these products. And yeah, if you guys have any more questions about school, what, what you can expect, 
pricing, as far as all of this, I'm happy to answer anything, honestly, to my best abilities. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye!